So we know that the carnivore diet is very popular. We have a lot of people in our health space who are talking about the, the dangers of lectins and oxalates yeah. and nightshades and anti-nutrients, plant toxins, and how they're the root cause of disease and autoimmune disease. And my question to you, is it really the anti-nutrients and the plant toxins that are problematic or is it something else? Listen, logically it has to be something else, right? Because how many cultures have survived on, I don't wanna say complete plant-based diets, but a plant-based diet as part of their diet, right? And yet look at their health, yeah. right? I mean, even the Mediterranean diet, even if you prepare things to reduce lectins, cook things to reduce lectins, it's still a high lectin diet. And I agree, these things are in fact plant toxins, so they sound pretty horrible, mm -hmm. and maybe we should get rid of them when you speak about that. Plants utilize these things to protect themselves. So how possibly could they be good for us? Well, but they are, because just like any stress applied correctly, exercise, fasting, whatever it is, if you adapt to that stress, it's wonderful. And when you ingest these little plant toxins, they act hormet hormetically, meaning it applies a stress to our microbiome and arguably makes it stronger, or not. Mm -hmm. What if you already have an inflamed gut, leaky gut, and you add plant toxins, not so good. So here's why I believe this message is, is really resonating, because people do it and they do in fact feel better. Correct. So that doesn't make me wrong, yeah. right? That just makes me right in the sense that plant toxins is a stress that many people with bad guts cannot tolerate and getting rid of it could be a good thing. However, I would also argue that you won't fix that gut without stressing mm. that gut appropriately. And plant toxins can be used as tools, small amounts to stress the microbiome to actually make it more diverse and be part of a healing protocol. So the analogy would be somebody who has a very weak immune system and that person, every, anytime they go out and hang out with their friends, they get sick and they get really destroyed for a couple of weeks. So they put that person in a bubble mm -hmm. to protect their immune system. Is that immune system going to get stronger or weaker? Being yeah, in ultimately weaker exactly. because there's no stress. Now listen, I, I actually made this mistake. I, I was extremely chemically sensitive, mm -hmm. right? After I got my life back, um, I was very neurotoxic. I get my life back and a lot of what I teach today came out of me getting my life back. But I realized I was chemically sensitive. I couldn't be around someone with perfume, cologne. So I ran from chemicals. I became more and more chemically sensitive. Instead of understanding the premise of hormesis and knowing that I need some of these stressors to function in my life. And I was able to bring my hormetic ceiling, my yeah. stress ceiling up to where I could adapt to more and more and more and more. Now, again, I'm not saying there's a limit to hormesis where too much throws you over the edge. Yeah. Too much toxins, no good, but me eliminating them is no good. Same with these plant toxins, same principle. Eliminating them in t too little will make you more sensitive. Mm -hmm. Whereas we need some of these stressors in our gut for our microbiome. So yeah. Just to recap here, we're both fans of a carnivore diet. We're, Fan. we're both Use it on all board. The time. Yeah, we're both yeah. on board with eliminating short term these anti nutrients, yes. but we're using them as an we're using this process as an el elimination diet. Absolutely. So we bring them back in slowly, see yeah. how the gut microbiome responds, and how would we determine that? Is it our symptoms? Is it yeah. heart rate variability? What are the things we're I mean, looking you can, at? You can look at heart rate variability. Yeah. But you can look at symptoms, mm -hmm. right? In other words, how do, how do you feel? You know, I seem to be doing okay with this amount. Mm -hmm. Well, great, this amount, and then you know maybe more. And then maybe you take them out again and go carnivore for a mm -hmm. period of time again, and then bring them, bring them in slowly in ones that your body seems to tolerate, right? It's just like you apply any stress, whether it be hot, cold, mm -hmm. right? Whether it be fasting, exercise, all of those are stressors that we have to utilize. Um, really, the, the way we utilize them, I should say, is listening to our body and how it adapts, meaning how we feel. So important. Yeah. And, you know, and, and we should be asking the question, by the way. I hope people watching this will ask the question, well, wait a minute, why do so many people react to these today? I already tipped my hand into saying that it's an inflamed gut, right, with a disrupted microbiome. But what's causing all of this today? You know, when my parents were growing up, they, weren't, they could eat high vegetable diets, lectin diets, and have no symptoms. Yeah. What's causing this? We're looking in the wrong place. We're looking at the wrong toxins, right? It's, it's these other toxins, glyphosate, mm -hmm. certain heavy metals that were being 
absolutely exposed to unknowingly yeah. that are driving this problem to where now everyone's focused on these plant toxins running from them instead of running from the real problems. Mm. And, that, and that's something I preach and teach for 20 years. Yeah, you do. And, and you're right about the glyphosate. I mean, the average, I learned this from Dr. Zach Bush, the average California wine has 64 different herbicides in it. Yeah. Which look, is, at, look at the amount of toxins we're exposed yeah, to it's, today. It's insane. You know? and, and now we're reading that there's aluminum through our air mm -hmm. today like never before, right? Okay, this is the problem. Right, this is the problem. Let's focus on those toxins and what we need to do to get them out of our body correctly. And let's forget about the plant toxins. But again, that said, you know, they're, they're, it, it can be beneficial to remove them for periods of yeah, time. Yeah, but we so, work on the gut. We create yeah. a higher hormetic window. Absolutely. You have a training that you want to do a CTA to with this? Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I do a training on these hidden toxins and absolutely what you need to do because this is a cellular problem check out the training. It's free. So anyone that wants to check it out, check it out. Go check it out, guys. Mm -hmm.